Question six. Alfie asks some boys and girls about their favourite hobby. He shows the results on a graph. There we can see the graph. We've got reading, sport, TV and cinema are the hobbies. We've got the boys bar on the left and the girls bar on the right. And we've got our percentage scale up the side. Before we do anything else, it may help us to write extra percentages in on the scale. This may come in handy later. So, if we go from 0% to 50% across 5 gaps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this must mean we're going up 10% each gap. Because 50 divided by 5 equals 10%. So, the first gap must be 10%, then 20%. 30%, 40%, we've already got 50%, so then on to the next one, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, and 100%. Let's scroll down to see the question. It says, the graph shows that 44% of boys chose sport. Estimate the percentage of girls that chose sport. Well, let's see where this 44% comes from, first of all. Well, we're talking about sport and we're talking about the boys line. So 44%, well, sport starts on this line here, which is a little bit higher than halfway between 20 and 30%. So a little bit higher, let's call that 26%. It's a little bit higher than halfway between 20 and 30. The boys sport bar ends here. And that is level with 70%. So the gap between 26% where it starts and 70% where it ends must be the percentage of boys. And 70 take away 26 is 44%, which is why they've got 44% here. So what we're going to do now is do a similar sort of thing for the girls. Well, the girls' sport bar starts here and ends here. Well, this line is halfway between 30 and 40%. So this line we will call 35%. And this line is a bit higher than 60%. Probably about a fifth of the way of this gap here. So we'll say we'll call this one about 62%. Now if we find the difference between 62% and 35%, we'll have our estimate. So 62% take away 35%. 2 take away 5 we can't do, so we borrow one. That makes 12. 12 take away 5 is 7. And 5 take away 3 is 2. So a good estimate for this gap would be 27%. So we can write that in the answer space there. At this point, it is worth pointing out that it is an estimate. And in the mark scheme, it does actually say that any answer is allowed between 25 to 29% is allowed. So our estimate of 27% was pretty good. But you could have 25, 26, 27, 28, or 29% as your answer. Now let's scroll down to see the second part of the question. It says, 120 boys chose reading. Estimate the number of boys who chose cinema. So we know that reading is 120 boys. Well, a quick look at the bar chart shows that white is the reading section. So this section here on the boys chart must be worth 120 boys. Notice this time we're talking about actual boys rather than a percentage. So 120 boys. Now if you look at the line behind the chart, you'll see that this line, this line, will split the reading bar into three equal pieces. If the reading bar is split into three equal pieces and it's worth 120 boys, let's split 120 into three and we get 40 boys in each piece. So what that means is that this bar is worth 40 boys, this bar is worth 40 boys, and this bar is worth 40 boys. Each bar is worth 40 boys. So let's check 
what we've got to do now. It says estimate the number of boys who chose cinema. Well, cinema is the light grey piece down here. So remember, each bar is worth 40. So one whole bar is going to be 40. And this little bit here that I'm shading in now is about a fifth of the next bar. So a fifth of the next lot of 40 would be 8. One fifth of 40 is 8. So basically what we're saying is this grey bit here is about 40. And this orange bit here that I've just shaded in is about 8. Put the two together, you've got 48. So that would be a good estimate of the amount of boys, about 48. A quick check on the mark scheme shows that actually we could have had any answer from 44 to 52 boys. So our estimate of 48 is actually right in between those two answers. You could have had anything from 44 to 52 boys. 